Okay, y'all, so we're about to watch this video. I'm one of the most realest, most relatable SpongeBob characters in the SpongeBob universe. This one is Squidward being the most iconic SpongeBob character for over 15 minutes from season one to three. I'm pretty sure all of us have, uh, like when we were little, we all related to uh, SpongeBob. We all, you know, were carefree and happy and, you know, living life or whatever, like SpongeBob. But as we got older, some of us, you know, we got to, we, we realized that reality is kind of like trash and working, you know, nine to five is kind of like trash and a lot of shit is like fake and assimilation and all of that. And I started to realize that, uh, Squidward had a lot of, uh, a lot of good quotables that we could all, you know, relate to or whatever. But yeah, we're going to watch this video. So let's watch y'all. You want to come with us? Really? Jelly fishing with you guys? Oh, that would be the best day ever in my book. I wouldn't I say would be this crabby, though. I would love to go jelly fishing. This I is just misery. I can't think of anything I'd love to do more on my day off than go jelly fishing with my two best friends, SpongeBob and, uh, Patrick. Right. But I can't. Bye-bye. Voila. It's a is it just me? Or sometimes your off day doesn't really feel like an off day. I don't know. Like, an off day just feels like a day to just sleep and recharge and, like, get other work done, like, home, like, housework, life work done. Like, you finally get to do those errands. You finally get to clean up your place. I don't know. It just doesn't really feel like an off day. It just feels like a day to yourself to finally do the things that you need to do instead of like what you want to do. Like maybe you want to go fishing or you want to go to a movie or you want to just hang out at the park or the beach. I mean, not all the time, but like most off days, especially if you only get like one or two off days out of the week. One day is usually one day is usually used to like recharge because you'd be so tired after working i don't know eight nine ten twelve hours you just want to like sleep and escape for a little bit and then the other day maybe you do do something that you actually want to do that you planned but sometimes especially for me that second off day is just for me to like run errands or do shit that i didn't have the chance to do while i had to work i don't know it's kind of sad, but uh, let's continue. <laughs> Under your nose! Ah, ah! <laughs> You're killing me, SpongeBob! <laughs> you really are. Do you know what today is? <laughs> A noise Squidward day? Ah, no, silly. That's on the 15th. Look at that buck tooth corn fed smile. You can't trust him as far as you can throw him. What's that? That's what you are! Well, you're a bigger one. Well, you're still yellow. Bad way? Bad way there? So let me get this straight. You think that we should go that way? Yep. Mm, well, then I'm going this way. Huh? Another one? Look, I told your little friend I ain't paying for that. Well, this one's on the... <laughs> Did he change his mind? He sure did. Ate the whole thing in one bite. Well, what can I say? It's been great knowing you, SpongeBob. Good luck somewhere else. I'm gonna miss you. Bo ho, bo ho, bo ho, bo ha ha, bo ho. Ta -ta -ta. Today's the big day, Squidward. Don't wanna be late. Gotta hurry. <laughs> Hold it, hold everything. I would not want to miss this. The day SpongeBob moves. I can't believe it's really happening. Don't worry, Squidward. I'll come visit you. Don't try to cheer me up, SpongeBob. Please. Oh, maybe. Are you planning on ordering today, sir? I'll have a Krabby Patty. How original. And with extra onions. Daring today, aren't we? Can I get some extra salt? Extra We're onions is crazy. Out. Could you check? No. Breath gonna be stank. 
Let me guess, tiny, a small salad? I'll take a double, triple bossy deluxe on a raft. Four by four animal style. Extra shingles with a shimmy and a squeeze. Light axle grease, make it cry, burn it, and let it swim. We serve Sorry, food, food here, here, sir. I miss you! <laughs> Sandy misses you! Even Squidward misses you! <laughs> Surprise! Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Squidward! Squidward. Happy, happy, happy birthday! birthday. Happy, happy birthday, birthday cake. cake! Happy, happy, happy birthday! Pin the tail of the seahorse! Happy, 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 happy birthday! Happy birthday, Squidward! Squidward. Sort of an old world charm. Well, I guess this is before manners were invented. I love karate. I love carrot cake. I love money. I hate all of you. I just figured you probably want it back. What's the big deal? It's only garbage. Garbage? But Squidward. In the right hands, this paper is a gold mine of entertainment. A spectacular afternoon of underwater fun. A treasure trove of... Garbage! Super Sponge! Soaking up crime! See? Here's my cape! Oh, it's so tiny. Super morons more like it. How? Oh. Why is it whenever I'm having fun, it's wrong to say is that I am... Oh, there you go. But I couldn't. I don't hit. care. I said it. My conscience <laughs> is clear. I like surprises. Great, then close your eyes. I'm ready. Well, I like it so far. Not on the menu. <laughs> well, I didn't think it was possible, SpongeBob, but you look even more ridiculous than usual. <laughs> Rage, fury, irritation, humiliation. Please come again. When I'm not working. E. This bubble is your friend? <laughs> well, he's handsome, I'll give him that. <laughs> hey, hey, Squidward, did you see me? Okay, see you later, Squidnator. And this time, there's gonna be love. So much, he's gonna drown in it! Drown in it! Ha! Uh, you're not Mr. Krabs. Hey, why don't you take the rest of the day off? <laughs> Whatever you say, <laughs> Mr. He's Mr. Krabs now. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen more alert people in a retirement home. Oh, which way to the living without a brain seminar? Don't be late. I've heard better comebacks from a turkey sandwich. Get a life. This place is better than I expected. <laughs> and name we calling messy. for sure. <laughs> and drowning. Don't forget drowning. <laughs> Good one, Squidward. No, low key. Not Squidward likes life, the mess. Sport. Well, I'll do it, but I won't like it. Listen up, y'all. Man in the night boat! He's not in my thoughts. Well, think again! Hello, you've reached the house of unrecognized talent. Please start after the... <laughs> Too bad that didn't kill me. So, where's your band? Uh, they couldn't come. They died. Listen, Big Nose, that guy's been saving your butt since before oh, you were born. Too. Don't you got a living legend discount or something? This is a restaurant, not a lending library. And who are you calling Big Nose? Big Nose? So, who wants to save the world? I do! I do! I do! I don't. Why else would we run around in colored undies? I can think of three good reasons. Captain Magma! Get him angry and he's bound to erupt! Krakatawa! 
Bruh, I wish I had Warm, this fire. fine, cozy slippers, and a Water. piping hot cup of tea with a lemon wedge. <laughs> Why do I even bother? Yes? Oh, Patrick, what an unpleasant surprise. Oh, boy, nothing like a game of charades. I was trying to tell you that I was choking on snow, but the snow melted and turned into water, and I drank all the water, now I'm better. Fascinating. Come on, SpongeBob, let's go knock each other's brains out. I'm ready. Hmm. Okay, Patrick, it's out. Screw her, like this shit. Now, there's something I'd actually <laughs> like to see. Nothing wrong with getting a front row seat, I suppose. I didn't Do realize like it mess. was happy hopping moron day. Easy. <laughs> Just when I thought they couldn't get any stupider. There's something else I wanted to ask you two. Uh, what was it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Don't you two have any brains? They're going too high. I hope they put some air holes in that box. Isn't there anything on that isn't about boxes? And welcome back to Championship Boxing. <laughs> I guess this is okay. I mean, it's not really about boxes. <laughs> I give up. But why do we need him? This job gets very stressful, Mr. Krabs. I think I better give them what they need, and fast. I think so, too, or Krabs will fire both of us. On second thought, keep them waiting. <laughs> That's not fair. Clause 3B, the proprietor reserves the right to be unfair. Teacher's pet. And what could be better than serving up smiles? That'll be irritating, though. No, low, high key? Being dead or That'll anything else. Uh-huh. You know, that reminds me. There's something I've been wanting to say to you like since the day we there. met. I'm gonna stand out there all that day never listening to everything. Is just blah, 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 then you must have Carl wedged in your frontal lobe. Employee, there's one who is not so good. Let's see. Inattentive, impatient, a glazed look in the eyes. Look carefully at the I really wish I weren't here right now button. There's a name for employees like this, but we'll call him Squidward. I'm getting paid overtime for this, right, Mr. Krabs? Now let's see how Squidward prepares for his shift. Uh, 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 uh. Remember, no employee wants to be a Squidward. Uh, I used to do that all the time, be on my phone, sit in the bathroom. <gasps> What's up? Patrick, go be stupid somewhere else. Good idea, Squidward. One Krabby Betty, please. Take a bathroom break for like 20 minutes. The oh. whole time you on your phone. Hang in there, Squidward. It's all part of the job. Squidward, you made it. <laughs> My cable's out. Oh, uh, sorry to hear about that. Someone's at the door. Mine says, which came first, the oyster or the pearl? <laughs> you take the side of the pearl. This is lame. Yeah, what does it take to be a member? Besides being a moron. <laughs> moron. <laughs> oh, why must every 11 minutes of my life be filled with misery? Why? But don't you two sad clowns come crying to me when your circus tent comes crashing down. Sad clown. <laughs> well, you can't have any. And do you know why, SpongeBob? Because your club president is a shell. If you had listened to me, you'd have food, shelter, and a roaring fire. Why is he oh. doing that? <laughs> In case you've forgotten, here's how things work. I order the food, you cook the food, then the customer gets the food. We okay, do that period. for 40 years, period, and then we die. Sounds like a pretty good deal to me. What do you say? <laughs> hey, Mr. Krabs, looks like old Mystery had an after-dinner salad. What do you like better, the coral bits or the nacho oyster Why are you skins? asking me? I like neither. Can I take your order? Well, how about the barnacle rings? Are they any good? No. What will you have? Catch a few clowns nah, and then throw them. They used to irritate me when I used to work at the food court. Mind you, it was a food court, so like, 
just get whatever it's not like it's a, a fucking five-star restaurant it's a food court restaurant just get whatever you want but i used to i used to be irritated when customers would like ask me like what do i like what i like is what i like i can't tell you which i can't tell you what i like is what you're gonna like you know what i'm saying we both have different taste buds we both have different flavors that give us the tingles like i'm not gonna tell you what i would i don't know i just i find that kind of irritating i don't know i'm i'm like squiggly like i agree with squiggly on that because i used to irritate it hmm what do you recommend i don't know what you got a taste for i recommend whatever mood i'm in whatever mood i'm feeling right now is what i'm gonna eat if I feel like nachos, goddammit, I'm going to order me some damn nachos. If I'm feeling like pizza today, guess what I'm getting? Meat lovers. Back. Don't you think that's fun? No. And I think I could be wearing a powdered wig right now. Hey, Squidward, do you want me to cast out over here so you can watch me? How about you cast out over there so I can ignore you? Oh, poor <laughs> Mr. Krabs gone forever out of our lives why could it have been me yes why couldn't it have been you <laughs> why did he have to go like this why why did he have to go like this and leave me tied to this idiot fry cook spongebob reporting sir well, what's all the yelling about happy first day of summer squidward Care to join me for solstice caroling? Walking in the grass, it's so fine. Don't need shoes in the summertime. I'm not much of a summer person. What? He's tenderizing the ground. Of course. I mean, in a way, when it comes to working during the summer, it is trash. Honestly. Voila. Like, who wants to work during the summer, so... I wouldn't be a summer person either if I had to work all the time. Good! Another day, another migraine. <laughs> My... On time percentage. 12 percent. Grain. Closing time! The happiest time of the day! Uh... Spongebob, could I get one with less fog? Sorry, Squidward. Mr. Krabs' is orders. Whatever. Spongebob, I told you what the doctor said. Mr. Krabs isn't coming back. Now keep quiet so I can hear the tumblers in his safe. Look, Squidward! Money! Mr. Krabs, I can't believe I'm saying this, but how could you trade Spongebob for 62 cents? You think I could have gotten more? He stuck up for you and you sold him out? You should be ashamed of yourself! <laughs> no, but for real, working during the summer is like the most depressing, for me at least, is the most depressing feeling on the planet. Like, I used to hate going into work during a nice 80 degree day, especially like during a holiday if it was like a 4th of July weekend or whatever. Oh my god, I used to hate going to work because it's like on my way to work you can smell the barbecue people be barbecuing you can hear like all the sounds of summer and shit kids playing and people just hanging out outside and you on your way to work you know what i'm saying like oh and then don't let it be you gotta work third shift third shift bitch on like on like a uh, fourth of july weekend so you know what that means that means like your shift you you that means you usually got to come to work or you leave for work like maybe like around 10 11 o'clock so on your way to work you see fireworks going off <sighs> fireworks and you on your way to work mind you you probably slept the whole day away because you work third shift so it's a nice sunny beautiful warm hot day outside it's fourth of july weekend or fourth of july or whatever and you're sleeping the entire day away and you finally get up and go to work and on your way to work there's fireworks going off i'm literally telling y'all this is what i went through when i used to work third shift at uh, one of my old jobs i used to feel so depressed 
because it's like, bro, I don't want to go to work. I want to be outside. I want to be kicking it. I want to go to the pool. I want to go to the beach. I want to, you know, be at the park or I just want to chill. Who the fuck wants to work on a beautiful, nice, hot, sunny day? Like, so in, I can kind of relate to that, like not being a summer person. If you have to work like that, fucking sucks ass but um let's go do it for this reaction y'all leave some comments down below let me know what you guys think and i will see you on the next one bye